hey everyone i welcome you all to this video and in this video we are going to discuss about a scenario based question actually these type of questions can be asked in power bi interviews so let's begin first of all i'll click here on the model view tab to understand about the data that we have so we are having a fact table in which we have three columns that is customer id column product id column and sales column then we have product dim table in this table we have product id column and product column in which the names of the product are written products are written then we have cust dim table in this table we have customer id column and name of the customer column and it is it, it is named name right and you can see clearly on the screen that one to many relationship exists between cust dim table and fact table and similarly one to many relationship exists between product dim table and fact table right so uh, now let's discuss about the requirement so i'll just go back to the report view and i will first of all add two bar charts and two slicers on this report page to explain uh, that uh, what what is the requirement so i'll just simply first of all click here on the blank area on the canvas and then i'll just simply click here on this bar chart it will create a blank bar chart for us i'll drag and move it here all right let's keep it here and in this bar chart let's say i want to represent the total sales by name of the customer so i will just simply drag the sales column from the data pane and will drop it here in x axis bucket and i will drag this name field from the data pane and will drop it here in y axis bucket so this bar chart now represents nothing but the sales by the names of the customers right and uh, if you further want to format it so you can just simply click here on format your visual and let's change this data labels to on you can further increase the size so you can under this value section let's keep it bold let's keep it black and you can further increase the size if you want to change the color of the bars you can change it from here so let's keep it purple and let's say i want to uh, change the formatting for the names customer names as well so from this y-axis we can change it to bold let's choose the color as black and let's increase the size all right so perfect and let's say we want to change this grid lines to off so you can do that as well from here all right so and you can add a border as well so general fx and change this visual border to on so this is a bar chart that we have created and on this bar chart the sales by the customer's name is being represented let's say i want to represent the sales by the names of the products as well so i'll just simply click here on this bar chart control c control v move the second chart here and in place of this name in the y-axis bucket i'll just simply uh, first of all remove this name field from here y-axis bucket and then i will simply drag this product field from the data pane and will drop it here in y-axis bucket so you can see that the sales is now being shown for different products as well right so we have different products by the name a b c d e f and these are the names of the different customers that we have right now let's say i want to add two slicers on this report page so first of all i'll click here on the blank area on the canvas then i'll click here on the slicer it will add a blank slicer for us and you can further resize it if you want to all right and let's say uh, on this slicer i want to represent the names of the customers so i'll just simply drag this name field from the data pane and we'll drop it here in the fields bucket and let's say i want to add a border to this visual so general effects and change this visual border to on now i will simply click here on this slicer Control c Control v it will create a new slicer for us i will drag the second slicer here on the right hand side and will drop it here and i want to represent the names of the products in the second slicer so i'll first of all remove this name field from the fields bucket and i will drag this product field from the data pane and will drop it here in the fields bucket so it now represents the names of the products and let's say for the second bar chart i want to change the color so you can do that as well so simply click here on the second bar chart then click on format your visual bars and you can change the color from here let's choose pink all right so this is the report page and here we have added some visuals and slices right now if i will select any name any customer's name let's say i select priya so you can see that both the bar charts are getting filtered right on the first bar chart the name of that customer is shown because we have selected uh, her name from this first slicer but on this second slicer that is product slicer you can see that c and d are not shown 
she purchased only two products that is c and d so that's why in the second bar chart the corresponding sales value along with the name of the names of the product is being shown but in this second slicer that is product slicer the names are not getting filtered if i'll go back to the model view to explain it to you it means that if we have selected something or some given names from the cust dim table then it is filtering the fact table but this dimension table that that is cust dim table is not filtering the product table product dim table right now if i'll again go back to the report view let's clear the filter and let's say this time i want to know that uh, who I, I want to know about the names of the customers who have bought let's say product f so now you can see that since we have selected f so in this pink colored bar chart you can see product f is selected and corresponding sales is being shown and these are the customers who have purchased this particular product so that's why in this purple colored bar chart you can see that three customers names are being represented or shown but again the first slicer is not getting filtered by this product slicer if i'll go back to the model view then you can see that this product dim table is actually filtering this fact table but it is not filtering this second dimension table that is cust dim table we want that these two tables must filter each other right that is the requirement and if i let's say if i double click on any one of the relationships then you can see that her cross filter direction is shown we are not going to change it to both because there are some problems associated with that we want to use this cross filter direction as single only and we will not be changing the direction right so we want to look for some other solution that how that can be achieved so i will go back to the report view again and in order to achieve this what we'll do we will create a measure and through that measure we will try to implement this to fulfill the requirement right so i will first of all click here right click on the fact table that we have then i'll click on new measure it may take some time now i will use some function sum press tab key and let's say i want to find out the sum of the sales column from the fact table i'll select this close the bracket enter now what i'll do i'll just simply click here on the second slicer let's say i'll click on the product slicer and i'll expand this filters pane and here you can see we have add data fields here under this filters on this visual section so i'll drag this measure from the data pane and we'll drop it here in add data fields here section and i will change this is less than 2 is greater than 0 i'll write 0 here and i'll apply the filter similarly i will click here on this name slicer which represents the names of the customers and then i will drag this measure from the data pane and i'll drop it here in add data fields here section which is under this filters on this visual section and then i'll change it to is greater than 0 and i'll click on apply filter now let's see if it's working or not now if you will select let's say the name of any customer let's select priya so you can see that the second slicer that is product slicer is also getting filtered if you'll select the name of some other customer so nitin bought only one product that is product b so corresponding sales is being shown in the pink colored bar chart name of the customer is being shown in the purple colored bar chart and at the same time this product slicer is also getting filtered right you can select any other name right and this works fine and in the, on the second slicer as well you can select the name of the any product let's say i'll select f so you can see that this time your purple colored bar chart is also getting filtered but at the same time this name slicer is also getting filtered so that was the requirement this is how we can uh, filter two dimension tables without using the dual direction filter and that's how it can be achieved i hope this video was helpful we'll meet in the next session till then thank you bye bye